Good morning. If you have the Bible, look at the Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 6. Look at the Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 6. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your heart on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above and not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to that, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. This morning, I would like to share with you, according to this scripture, set your heart on things above. Set your mind on things above is so important. Yeah? If your heart, your mind on things, on earthly things, you'll be trouble. Yeah. Where is Jesus now? He sit at the right hand of God in throne in heaven. Isn't that wonderful? And then what is his main job? What Jesus is is his work? What he does? He is intercede for all of you. Isn't that wonderful? You are born a Christian, you are a child of God, fantastic. This is a free from Almighty God, this is a gift of God. No boasting. Because of this, uh, through the grace of God, by faith, you are saved. Look, but to set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. But you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. How many of you have been crucified with Christ? I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Isn't that wonderful <coughs> news? Yeah? Set your mind on things above. Where Jesus sits at the right hand of God. Set your heart. Look at the verse. Um, actually, verse 4. When Christ, who is your life, yeah, Jesus is your life. Yeah, I belong to Jesus. I am His. Jesus is mine. Yeah. Uh, who, who is your life? Appears. Then you also will appear with <coughs> Him in glory. Do, do you understand? When we died, yeah, we'll go to heaven. When Jesus will come back again, He'll come back again with uh, His glorious uh, children. Do you understand? If Jesus will come again tomorrow evening, Jesus coming again with whom? With Brother Patrick. Do you know Patrick? Patrick and my friend and Tim and all these people they gather who are born again Christian will come together. We will have a rapture. Good news. Though you died before, you will also appear with him in glory. Put to that. Uh, do, do you understand? Put to that. What kind of things you have to you have to put to that? Yeah, these five things: earthly nature. What is earthly nature? Can you see the five things? Number one. What is the number one? Can you see the chapter three, verse five? Put to that. Therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature. Number one is sexual immorality. Sexual immorality is a damage the whole world now. <coughs> yeah. Today is a day to destroy the nature, naturally, uh, the earthly nature. Sexual immorality. What is the second? Immorality, uh, sorry, impurity, sorry, impurity, not pure at all, impurity. And number three, what? Lust. Lust. Can you see that? 
sexual immorality, impurity, lust, all these things, what? Lust of flesh. Do you understand? Lust of flesh and lust of eyes and proud of life. These things, sexual immorality, impurity, and lust, evil desires. Evil desires. Yeah. Yeah, evil desires. Finally, what is number five? Greed, which is what? Greed is idolatry. It's a so selfish desire. It's a greed. Greed is a idolatry. Yeah? Sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of this, uh, what is coming? Wrath of God is coming. How many of you experienced wrath of God in your life, in the past? You never experienced? <laughs> Do you understand? How about the King David? What was the wrath of God in his life when David committed adultery? Do you understand? David, he had a sexual immunity, impurity, lust, evil desire, and greed. All five of them, actually. King David. Especially greed is uh, which is idolatry. What happened when you get a baby through Bathsheba, first baby? Died. Wait ever since what? Death. Yeah? Sexual immunity. Impurity. Lust. Evil desire. Greed. Greed is idolatry. The wrath of God is coming because of all these things. Did you understand? It's terrible. Terrible. But please remember, how can you overcome this five area? What is the solution? Look at the verse, verse, uh, verse 2. Set your mind on things of love, not all earthly things. Even verse 1, set your heart on things of love, where Christ sits at the right hand of God. Can you touch your heart now? Can you say to me, in the name of Jesus, I set my heart on things above, in Jesus' name. Can you touch your mind now? Here, here. Can you say, in the name of Lord Jesus, I set, um, I, 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 I set my mind on things on above, in Jesus' name. Amen. It's very fun. Your heart, uh, you, you set your heart on things above. You set your mind on things of all, where Jesus sits at the right hand of God. If you do, you can overcome this five barrier. You heart your mind on things of all. Yeah. Look at uh, Hebrew chapter 3. Book of Hebrew chapter 3, verse 1. Book of Hebrew chapter 3, verse 1. Therefore, holy brothers who share in the heavenly calling. Fix your thought on Jesus, the apostle and high priest whom we confess. Do you know what the Bible says? Fix your what? Thought on Jesus. Can you see that? Fix your thought on Jesus. How often do you think so? You fix your, fix, fix your thought on money? Every day. Can I encourage you? Jesus said that there's two masters in this world, money and God of Israel. But can you fix your can you fix your thought on Jesus all the time? Yeah? If you do, you can overcome the earthly nature. What is the earthly nature? Money. <laughs> yeah. Yes, money, okay. I talk about sex humility, sex humility, impurity. Lust, evil desire, and greed. Greed is uh, idolatry. My dear brothers, yeah, fix your thought on Jesus, the apostle and high priest who we confess, Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, can you fix your thought on Jesus constantly? 
fix your thought on Jesus every moment, every minute, every hour, day and night. Yeah. Can you say to each other, let us fix our thought on Jesus constantly, say to each other. Let us fix our thought on Jesus constantly. If you fix your thought on Jesus constantly, you'll be okay. You're a more than conqueror. Yeah? Look at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. I think this is a very, very important scripture. Hebrews chapter uh, 12, verse 2. Let us fix our what? Can you see that? Fix our what? This one. Eyes on Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfect of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Fix our eyes on Jesus constantly. <coughs> if you lose the focus, you will be trouble. All my holy brothers and sisters, fix your eyes on Jesus constantly. If you lose the focus, you're looking for alcohol. You're looking for drugs. You're looking for some of your addiction, your hobby. I met one alcoholic in South Korea many, many years ago. I went to his house, his alcoholic. I was praying for him, I preached the gospel. He hasn't got the food, only rice and kimchi. <coughs> only the cook, the rice, and we eat together. He's alcoholic. You know, <coughs> if you eat, with the uh, rice, with the, the kimchi is very boring, without uh, some chicken or beef. Or, but what did he do? I put the water in rice and then mix and then eat uh, like the rice soup and then eat kimchi. But what he did, that guy, because he's alcoholic. Do you know the soju? We never know the soju. What's the soju? Yeah, they used to drink the soju. Yeah? Soju is look like water, but very strong alcohol. He pour out the soju in the rice bowl and the mix. It look like water. It was a plank. He he eat the rice with the soju. I eat the rice with the water. Can you imagine? I get together. Alcohol, wake up, looking for alcohol. Do you know that three, four people sit uh, behind our church car park, yeah? The alcohol. <coughs> they drink it all the time. I saw them again. Yeah. Not now. But in the morning, in the morning, they don't drink it. But uh, in the morning. Yeah. Do you understand? If they fix their eyes on Jesus, they can overcome alcohol. They can overcome cigarette. They can overcome any addiction. If you fix your eyes on Jesus, if you, if you set your heart on things above, if you set your mind on things above, huh? your mind, your heart, and your eyes on Jesus, how often? Huh? How often? Constantly, every moment, every hour, every day. If you fix your eyes on Jesus, you are more than conquer. Do you know what is my job? My position like pastor, missionary, all this. But my main job, to help the people to become a Jesus addict. How many of you are Jesus addict in here? If you are Jesus addict, you are more than conqueror. You are a very powerful Christian. Drug addict looking for what? Drugs. Alcohol is drink, looking for what? So cigarette addict, what looking for? They are looking for the flow and looking for cigarette. Yeah. But Jesus addict looking for whom? Jesus. If you are Jesus addict, you are looking for Jesus all the times. You are a man of Jesus. Amen? 
You have a fool of a Jesus inside of you. Fool of a Jesus. If you squeeze orange, what things will come out? Orange. Orange juice. If you got squeeze you, brother, brother Mark, what things will come out from you? What? Jesus. Full of Jesus. Can you see that? Yeah, you are looking like a saint. Saint Mark. Everybody saint actually. Everybody saint. When you become born into you are called a saint. Fix your eyes on Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters. Fix your heart on things above. Fix your own, fix your mind on things above. Where Jesus sits at the right hand of God. In other words, you no longer live, but Christ lives in you. If Christ lives in you, you overcome the world. You overcome the desert, earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity. <coughs> Lost, evil desires, and greed. Greed is idolatry. You can overcome this uh, earthly nature. Paul said, I die how often? Daily. daily. <laughs> can, you can you say to each other, I die daily, say to each other. <coughs> I die daily. If you die daily, who live daily in your life? Jesus. Gospel of Jesus, so simple. I die daily. Therefore, Jesus lives in my life powerfully and daily. Simple. Simple. Why people, they, they struggle in this world? They lose the focus of Jesus. They focus on something. Focus on earthly things. That is why you struggle. If you fix your eyes on Jesus, you will be okay. You are more than conqueror. From now on, let us fix our eyes on Jesus. Amen. Amen. Constantly. Constantly. Yeah. If somebody push me, Jesus will come out. <laughs> if you squeeze orange, orange just come out. What things come out from you? You are a man of Jesus, a woman of Jesus. You are a man of the Holy Spirit. You are a woman of the Holy Spirit. You can bear the fruit. What is the fruit of the Holy Spirit? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. All these beautiful things will come out from you. Why? Because you are a man of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Some people they are full of bitterness, anger, hatred. You get rid of it from your life. Yeah. How wonderful. Yeah. You can think about that, about uh, your your past life. You used to drink, eh? Now, can you compare between the drinking the life now? Which is better? Now. You drink the I know you smoke it forty five years. <laughs> which is better? You cannot compare. Why you smoke for 45 years? 45 years, you're not satisfied with this world. You're not satisfied with your life. That is why looking for something. But when you have Jesus, you have what? Everything. Everything. Which is better, Jesus and some, any gold and silver? Which is better? <laughs> Million pound, which is better? Jesus. When I ask you, drug addict, which is better, Jesus and drug? Jesus. No, no, drugs. <laughs> For them, drug is uh, much better than Jesus. For this uh, drug addict. Did you understand? Jesus. 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 Can you say, Lord Jesus, help me. Fill me with your spirit. In the name of Lord Jesus, I belong to Jesus. I'm a man of the I, I'm a man of the Holy Spirit. I belong to Jesus. I fix my eyes on Jesus. All the days of my life. I never lose my focus. 
I set my heart on things above. I set my mind on things above where Jesus sits at the right hand of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. If they pray sincerely from your heart, I think you are different man. You are never the same. You know how you live a worldly life. Do you understand? For me, why I wake up early in the morning to come here? I'm looking like a crazy man. <laughs> why, why are we singing and then preaching yesterday in the rain yesterday? You know, they, the people t h e r e these crazy people, their color, black and white, they mix together all these people. What are they, they doing? In the rain. It's like foolish things. Yeah? The evangelism is like a foolish things. But God brings the salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. 26 souls came to Lord Jesus yesterday. Isn't that wonderful? In raining, people not stopping because of it. They uncomfortable. But Sister Tina chasing after them. <laughs> she never give up. She just, oh, I was so. Encourage what she does. And she preached the gospel. Soul came to Lord Jesus. 26 souls yesterday. Thanks be to God. Please remember, if you go back to the Colossians chapter 3, verse 5, put to death. Yeah? You need to kill these things. Put to death. Therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is uh, idolatry. Because of this, the wrath of God is coming. I don't want to see the wrath of God in your life. I don't want to see the punishment of God in your life. I don't want to see you receive the consequence of your sins. No, I don't want. That is why I speak to you very clearly. I don't want to see these things. Sexual immorality. Impurity, lust, evil desire, greed. Go in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You are free. Just fix your eyes on Jesus. Yeah. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Set your heart on things above. Set your mind on things above. Yeah. Meditate. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We fix our eyes on Jesus all the times. Give us your grace and your mercy. We bless your name. Jesus, help us to fix our eyes on you all the times. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Keep on praying for mission to India. You know, for two times in, uh, the, this Indian government rejected my visa. Two times. But keep on praying. We've got three open the door. Yeah, thank you.